So we want to be strong. What is strength? What is the definition of strength? Are there many kinds of strength? Is there bricklayer strength? No, there's not. No, it's real critical that everybody understand what strength is. There's no bricklayer strength. There's no marathoner strength. We're not talking about strength of character. We're talking about strength and what is strength. The ability to produce force against an external resistance. That's all it is. How hard can you push on something? If a bricklayer can deal with brick all day long, right? How strong did he get from laying bricks? Depends on how many bricks he moves, right? What about if you get your deadlift up to 600 pounds? That's a hell of a brick, isn't it? That would mean you're stronger than the bricklayer. Now, in practical terms, what would that mean about your ability to work all day with 80 pounds of bricks at one time? Right. And if all he had done was work with 80 pounds of bricks all day, who's going to have the easier day? The guy with the deadlift 600 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, is that controversial? Would anybody like to argue with that? Because, I mean, we hear this a lot, don't we? Every time I write one of these ridiculous articles from PJ Media, some clown always comes on and, you're the tooth full of shit, man. <laughs> you know, he said, no, 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 get him out here and lay brick all day. We'll see who's stronger. Look, strength is the ability to produce force against an external resistance. That's all it is. Somebody who deadlifts 600 has a stronger, is stronger than someone who deadlifts 550. Someone who deadlifts 600 is stronger than someone who deadlifts 575. Now, here's the, here's the hard part to swallow. What if the guy that deadlifts 600 weighs 275 and the guy that deadlifts 575, 25 pounds less, only weighs 200 pounds? Who's stronger? The guy doing 600 is still stronger. I'm real sorry about that, but that's just all there is to it. Because what is strength? Strength is the ability to produce force against an external resistance, and whoever produces the most, most force is stronger. And that's all there is to it. All right. Now, if we can agree on that, then a lot of things become very, very simple. And our job becomes simple, too. What are we trying to do? We're trying to get stronger. What's the best way to get stronger? Lift heavier weights, right? Lift heavier weights. See, this isn't really complicated. I know the functional training people want to make it complicated, but it's not complicated. Can you get stronger dealing with the five basic barbell exercises and adding five pounds of workout to your squat and your deadlift for as many months as that process lasts? Or do you get stronger dancing around in the floor with five pound dumbbells with one foot in front of you and the other one on the BOSU ball in the back, changing hands with the dumbbell? Which way do you get stronger? See, this isn't really complicated, is it? <clears throat> Some tools work better than others for making us stronger. And if strength is what we are trying to accomplish, then uh, we, we need to have a logical analysis about the best way to spend our time in the gym, don't we? Because you guys are all familiar with the fact that there are lots and lots of people out there with lots and lots of certifications that are prepared to waste a lot of your time and a lot more of your money because they haven't done this simple analysis, 
right? If we take your squat from 150 pounds to 300 pounds, right? Versus we get your, you know, catalog of BOSU ball exercises up to maybe 30 different exercises with five pound dumbbells. Which uh, is the most productive way to spend your time in the gym if getting strong is what you want to do. This isn't complicated, is it?